Hey everybody, this is Concrete Concrete, and we're gonna get right to it. I've got a lot of things to say, but we also have some concrete to mix, and we're gonna make a cool little planter. So let's start with two kilos of water, two kilos of uh, gray matter, brought to you by Concrete Concrete, which means we need approximately 200 milliliters of water for every one kilo of gray matter you're going to want 100 milliliters of water to start <clears throat> and now I just start mixing so in the past you've seen me mix on uh, just a table with my hands today I'm mixing in a bucket I think this bucket's from Ikea. I can't be sure, but it's cool. It's like a black plastic. I don't know what this is supposed to be for, but I think it's the best for mixing concrete in. <clears throat> Look at this come together. So the reason why I didn't intro the video is that the actual mixing of concrete takes a little bit of time, and so we're going to have time to talk while we mix this up. And you might say, this is boring. Why are you, like, doing a video about mixing the concrete? And I'm going to say, because it's important to see. It's a big deal. I've noticed in the comments section of the videos that some people don't think that mixing concrete is relevant and they're like, why is this just a video of you mixing concrete? And it's like, oh, it sounds horrible. Uh, what's going on? The reason why there's a video of me mixing concrete is that mixing concrete is a very relevant thing. Um, to make a really high-end, highly detailed sculpted piece, this is important. This isn't just something you take for granted. Mixing the perfect consistency of concrete like takes a lot of practice. So watch what I'm doing, pay attention, and you learn something. How valuable is that? When was the last time you really learned like a lesson? And today, we're gonna learn a lesson about making a cool flower pot. How awesome is that? So two kilos of concrete, 200 milliliters of water. This is our consistency. It's like a crumbly. This is, I would say, if you were making shortbread, I would tell you this is too crumbly. You're almost there. Add a little bit more moisture and you will be perfect. This would be a perfect shortbread recipe cookie crumble. But currently, we're in the same boat with concrete. We need a little more water. I've got a spray bottle. When we get into the, the very, what I would say, nuanced amounts of water, spray it in. Add it in and really soft increments because you don't want to go overboard if you get if your concrete mix gets too wet then you gotta put it uh you have to add more dry mix if it gets too wet we're not gonna that's not gonna happen to us today someone in the comments mentioned that if your concrete gets too wet the trick <laughs> a little trick of the trade is put <laughs> put it on a board the board would soak up the water and your concrete, good again. Ready, perfect consistency. Which is like, I don't know. It, that advice, I would say take it or leave it. Because like, yeah, it might dry your concrete out. But if you make a habit of this, you're going to end up with a bunch of like weird, dirty concrete boards kicking around. I would say try to, try to get the perfect consistency. This is boring, you think? So, you know, first of all, I want to thank everybody for subscribing to our channel, watching our videos, and like posting comments. 
The fun thing about YouTube is that it provides a, I think a somewhat, a somewhat intimate interaction between the person recording a video and like the viewers of the video. You get to say things about the video and I could potentially could respond. Uh, that's fun. So thank you for everyone who participates in that whole interaction. Now look at this consistency. What is this? This is, this is getting really close to what we want. So, what is the consistency of this? We can make a ball, it's like a snow. We make a snowball, a mud ball. We can make a ball. And, but if we quit moving around, the ball has flow. This is fun, look at this. Oh. I'm using a head mounted camera. I'm trying to give you something that kind of looks what my perspective is of what I see, because I think that is more intimate. If anyone has advice on how videos on YouTube should be filmed, I would love to hear it in the comments. You can tell me how bad I am at making videos. <laughs> that seems to be a common thread. So yeah, I was reading comments the other day, and I'm like, oh, I'm like, some people like are really nice and say very nice things. And then like some people say really shitty things. Like people are like, uh, worst, one guy was like, worst marbling ever. And I was like, oh, worst marbling ever. I'm like, wow, that's in The very best and the very worst are both celebrated positions. So to think to be like, for this guy to be like, that is the worst marbling ever. I'm like, that's actually an accomplishment. Like that's a thing too. Oh, I like this. I think that is just about perfect. Seems crazy, feels too dry or too wet. Look at this, here we go. Another person made a comment. Someone else, so one of you out there said that I am uh, very excited. Also someone said strange, excited and strange, which I think is a pretty accurate description. I'm like, yeah, I get very excited about things but I'm also a weird guy. So bear with me and thank you for bearing with me. I appreciate it. Look at that. That's real nice. Mr. Concrete Concrete, that is who I am. Dedicated to a life of concrete. I'm into this. You think this is the right mix? I think so. So things I've noticed about YouTube, and I would love to hear your opinions about YouTube. If anyone wants to say something to me about YouTube, I'm dying to hear it. But the one thing I was blown away about YouTube is the length of people's videos. I, I really, before kind of exploring what YouTube was, I really was like, I would never watch a half hour video of a dude. This video, heads up. This video might be a half hour. I don't know yet. I'm hoping not to. My target is 15 minutes. Um, and I, I know some people, like 15 minutes, so in my world, I feel like a 15 minute video is too long. I'm like, no, there's no way I'm watching all of that. Like I'll fast forward through it, maybe some of it, but like I'm not watching that whole 15 minute video. But people watch a whole 15 minute video. I'm like, I don't get that. On YouTube, like most of these videos aren't great. And I actually kind of like videos that are a little bit not great. And from what I can tell from what's the most popular types of videos on YouTube, most people want videos that are a little bit not the greatest video. Um, like there's a certain rawness and personal feel to the video. And that's what endears people to the video itself. Is that like, oh yeah, this is a real interaction. And at first I really didn't get it. And now I think I'm starting to get it. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's actually kind of nice. Like there's, there's a chance that I will electronically interact with a person and we'll have, like we could have some sort of connection about concrete. So I've got three piles that are slowly moving around and that's exactly what I want to see. I've got this, I'm gonna know. So right now I'm checking the flatticity of these. 
And what I do is I tap them, flatten them a bit, and then what I'm looking for to see if, if we start to see an accumulation of water on the surface as I, as I flatulate these. And these seem to all be, so we want to see these flat, um, I don't know the proper term, but it flat, flat, make more flat. These become make more, so I've noticed that there's a lot of very technical concrete people that follow us, um, like actually real concrete industry, like doing important civil concrete work, like building cities. Um, and they sometimes have comments to tell me about how oh, I don't know what I'm talking about. And they might be right uh, when it comes to terminology. I do a lot of things by feel and intuition. But yeah, we make more flat with this. And I see, so I slap this with this and I'm looking to see if water is like, if, if we start accumulating water on the surface and it splashes, why don't I slap this thing on here? Too wet. But this is good. This is like a weird, these become, become weird pancakes. So at the weird pancake stage, I wanna be able to spatula most of weird pancake and almost start to get weird pancake up in the air. I can slide it around, but it, it will begin to fall apart. As soon as I pick it up, it's like, oh, weird pancake, what happened? Son of a gun, you dog. <sighs> you dog. I got pigments over here. These are all concrete, concrete pigments. This one is an old popcorn Orville Redenbacher popcorn container. Perfect for storing your pigments. And I find to get your pigments out of containers that may not be helpful, use a soup ladle. But use a soup ladle that's the right size. So it's good to carry a few different sizes of soup ladles in your studio. Uh, here we go. Scoop this out. And you just, then what you want to do, you sprinkle the pigment all soup ladle style. Should one of the colors be black? So a big help, if anyone wants to have ideas about color, say it, like be like, more of this, these, this color. And I'd be like, yeah, sure, I could do more. Like if some, someone out there is like, I'd like to see a lot more yellow because I'm a big fan of yellow. I'd be like, I will make more yellow things. So today I'm gonna do white, a, a color. I don't know this color yet, I haven't decided. And then this is gonna be black, so I won't put any white in there. A little more white here. Okay, and, oh, black pigment, let's get it. And all these pigments, these are all concrete, concrete pigments that I keep in various containers on a cart for research and development. That's, that, I would say that's approximately 70 grams per kilo. I will eyeball a lot of my pigments, but if you wanna know recipes, if you wanna know a recipe like, hey, I wanna make this color, like what color? It's like that green from a peacock's tail. If you ask me, I will say, I will give you a, a starting point. I'll say, it's maybe this. And you look at it, you make that color, and then you look at it and you're like, that might be it. Or you look at it and you're like, ah, I need to make some adjustments. This last color, what is it? This is the challenge with YouTube. I would kind of love it if I could point at something and be like, this last one, what is it? And, you, and people on YouTube, I wish this was live streamed. No, do I? I don't know. Anyway, what color is this? I get to decide because no one has told me and I am gonna say it is 
A minty green. Oh, no. Yes. So this is a green mix that I made from primaries by blending blue and yellow. So the fun thing about mixing pigments with concrete is that we use additive color theory. Um, if someone has ideas or wants to tell me something about additive color theory, they can. But basically, additive color theory is the color theory that you learned at a very young age in some art class about how to make orange, you mix red and yellow. To make green, you mix blue and yellow. To make purple, you mix um, blue and red. That's, that's the same principles for all our pigment mixing. So it's pretty, pretty simple stuff. Involves a lot of trial and error. Uh, I've had many errors, and I'm hoping to teach you to have to do less trials. That's the idea. Squirt, squirt, squirt. There we go. Dig in. So I was talking with a friend over drinks after we had swam some laps at the local pool. Uh, I was talking with him about uh, length, length of videos, because he teaches a uh, film, like AV, film history, something, it's a cool, some kind of cool class at a high school. So like they deal a lot with film, and I'm like, tell me, like, what do you, what's your take on like length of videos? Like, how long should a video be? Because I have opinions about it, and my opinion is the shorter the better, and also um, probably the longest video I'd be willing to watch is like half an hour. I wish all movies were edited to just be a half hour. No movie needs to be like crazy long. I'm not interested. And I don't care. I'm like, why would I care what happens to Spider-Man? I don't care. He's imagining. These remnants of unmixed concrete, I'm gonna leave them. Leave it how it is, this is great. I have dirty hands. Ugh, I'm gonna wash them. I got a bucket of water. So black. So I mixed black last. I mix color with my hands. You don't have to mix color with your hands. I, I like mixing concrete with my hands. Uh, I think it's, I think it feels good. I think it's a fun thing to do. I think it connects you with the medium. If you want to get into the weeds of why I do what I do. And here's a mold. This is a mold that we have made. It is a planter. It is a very cool little planter. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you what we're going to make by using this very interesting marbling technique and this blade, putty knife. So we've got our concrete mixes. We like our consistency. I flatten the black out. Flatten out our white, and now I'm going to start our layering process. I'm going to take. What do we do? I'm gonna put, I'm gonna separate white and green with the black. Make a big old weird pancake. Oh boy, here we go. Flip it. Flip it. There's our pile. I, I think with this consistency, we made a weird pancake and we flip it a few times and now I'm gonna start just gently Tearing weird pancake apart. And we can see 
There's some stuff going on. Slide it down into the side of our mold. I'm going to switch to my hands for all this. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. I like to move quick. Oh, look at this. That's nice. talking about something and I kind of blanked out because I started to really get into this. So two kilos of concrete, 200-ish milliliters of water, and one beautifully made mold by Concrete Concrete. I've got a little excess. Cut this off. And this is what we got. So right now I am trying to shake out all the air. And get a look at what we've made. So today, we could have made this together. If you had the same mold as me, and if you had some gray matter, two kilos of it, and some white and black and yellow and blue pigment, and you mixed your yellow and blue together and made green, we could have made this together. It would have been a ton of fun. I would have loved doing it with you. But today, I probably did this by myself. But think about this. In the future, we could do this together. I'm not sure the logistics of how we would plan, uh, what colors we're using and like all the stuff, but we could talk about it in the, in the video before it and then plan for the next one in the future. How would I do that? We would say, we'd say, okay, next video, we're gonna be making um, some coasters and so make sure you've got your concrete, bring it with you and we'll make coasters together. And I put the mold to the side. Yeah. See you next time. And then next video, we're going to make coasters. Would that work? Do you think the air has come out of here? We could do fancy, we could have a fancy like vibration table. They sell, those are things people make. But I think just like slap it. Cause I don't want to get rid of all the air out of this thing either. I want to leave, I want there to be some little like concrete looking air bubbles. I think that's cool. And I don't want to make our our patterning blurry. If we vibrate this at like really high um, RPMs, our patterning will get super blurry, and we don't want that either. So let's leave it. Let's leave it like this. It's done. And then we'll pop it out, and I'll show you. We'll pop this out of here, and I'll show you the thing. Uh, it's a cool flower pot. So this cool flower pot, people, everyone's like, "What do I do? What do I do with it?" I'll tell you what you do with this cool flower pot. You put a cactus in it. You put, you plant like a beautiful cactus in the flower pot or cactus pot. And when people come over to wherever you live, the place that you reside and sleep, and they see that you've decorated your space with this cactus pot, and there's a beautiful cactus and it's in this pot, 
They'll be like, where'd you get that? And you'll be like, it's one of a kind. Like, they'll, they'll be like, what? That must have cost you a fortune. You're like, you know what? Didn't I made it myself. And they're going to be so impressed. Let me pose another scenario. It's a loved one's birthday or just like a special time for somebody that you care about. And you make them a pot. You buy the mold from Concrete Concrete, get the gray matter, you get the pigments. You sit down, you mix in your water with the concrete, and you mix it together, and you have like a moment. You make the stuff, and you put a lot of love into it, and then you give it to someone that you love. They're going to be impressed. Think about that. They're going to love it. And even if they don't love it, if they're like, this stinks, you're the worst. So if your friends are on YouTube, what they'll probably be is like, I've seen a lot better. <laughs> but even if nobody likes it, the thing you make, you can have fun making it because I know I have fun making it. So I know, I guess I don't know. I assume that if I have fun doing what I'm doing, there's at least one other person out there that also is like, this is a lot of fun. And if you think that, if you're that guy, Jeff, <laughs> uh, then, here you go, this video is for you. Thank you for subscribing. Here we are, it's about 10 hours later and our pot is ready to come out. We can take a look at this. See how our cactus pot turned out. So I'm gonna just start pulling off the edge. Get my fingers under the seam. Just slowly start easing easing my hand around it a little bit at a time, working my way around the edge of the pot. And, oh, it looks like we got a winner. Ooh, here we are. Let's get a good look at this. Oh, that's beautiful. Great marbling, nice separation. Very few voids. That's perfect. It's the last thing to do. You can give this a quick buff of wax. If you wanted to, you could take, say, 50 grit sandpaper, take down this edge, but this is done. So congratulations, we made a pot for, for somebody. And you'll give it to someone, or maybe you'll sell it. I don't know what you're going to do with this, but uh, they're going to be very impressed. Thanks for tuning in. And if you have any questions, comments, put them below. Subscribe to our channel. And uh, head on over to ConcreteConcrete.com if you're looking for anything, uh, any advice and anything how to make your own pots and other concrete objects. Mr. Concrete Concrete can help you out. GoPro, stop recording.